a lot of people like boost this boost that boost this you know um fighting boost is a lose-lose situation mm-hmm. you know uh I win, they're going to say, oh, well, he was young. He wasn't ready. You know, uh, he was talented. He was skillful. But you you got the experience over him. Me fighting Boots will be like, okay, well, you beat Boots. It's not a mega fight. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing really at stake with fighting Boots. You know, I'm at the tail end of my career. I'm trying to make things make sense. Not taking anything away from Boots, but, you know, where I am at in my career right now, I didn't fall my ass off to get to where I am. Mm-hmm. And I deserve to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Mm-hmm. And I don't care what nobody say, what nobody, how, how anybody feel. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel, man. Today I want to be talking about, man, Terrence Bud Crawford and Jerron Boots in this. Now, this has been getting a little out of control lately, man, because... uh. In this sport, it gets real crazy. The politics get crazy and people start picking and choosing who they want to fight. Now, if you can hear from the recording, it's a lose-lose situation if he fight Boots. Like, if he beat him, then they're going to say, oh, he was too young and this and then third. But, man, if you fought Boots, that would be one of the biggest fights of your career. If if you beat Boots, that would be one of your best victories in your career. I know you beat Errol Spence, but... And I don't want to take, I'm not trying to take no credit from you. He stepped up in the ring in the condition he was in and you did what you had to do. But Errol Spence is a shell of himself. He's not even the same. Boots can beat that uh, Errol Spence. Anybody can beat that Errol Spence that came and showed up that night to fight you, man. And you know that. You already know, man, you ran through him like a hot knife through butter. And he's been, Errol Spence been holding up the division for many, many years. With his car wreck, with his retina surgery. Just sitting around waiting on you when you was uh, going off to BLK Prime fighting David Avenesian. It's okay to fight David Avenesian, but it's something wrong with fighting Boots. And nobody in Terrence Crawford team wants him to fight Boots. Um, Bo Mack, he don't want him to fight Boots. He, he rocking with it. Whatever Terrence Crawford say, he rocking with that. Even Shakur Stevenson said Boots ain't had a chance to prove himself yet. But that's the best fighter at 147. Y'all already know that. He's the best fighter at 147. Crawford is number one second is Boots. Because uh, Boots would have destroyed Spence. That Spence that showed up to fight Terrence Crawford, Boots would have destroyed him sooner than that. He would have been up out of there. Can't nobody beat Boots at no 147. Not no Stanley Onis, not no Keith Thurman. Uh, Ugas retired, I guess. Um, who else down there? Let me see. Stanley Onis, Thurman. I can't think of nobody right now, but anyway, can't nobody beat him. Not what Mario Barrios, he can't beat him. He just both beat uh, Roman Villa, and that was a good fight, good good fight. But I mean, I'm saying if you don't want to fight Boots, who do you want to fight? And don't say Canelo. Canelo's three weight class is above you. You didn't say it. You're not gonna fight Danny Garcia, and you're not gonna fight Keith Thurman. You already said you don't want to fight those two. Scratch those off. You don't want to fight Jamel Charlo because of the way he got beat by Canelo. And I really don't blame you for that because he did lay down now. Uh, you don't want to fight Boots. Who do you want to fight? Who do you want to fight? And uh, Terrence Crawford fans, you know, I like Terrence Crawford too, but Terrence Crawford fans, let me know who do y'all want to see him fight. He don't want to fight anybody. It's a problem with everybody. A reason that he don't want to fight him. And he said he's at a point in his career where he feel like he can do what he want to do and pick and choose and stuff. Bro, come on, man. You did enough of that at top rank. You come to Showtime, beat one good opponent, and now you talking about some picking and choosing, man. Oh, God. Man, you you trying to do boots the same way that people did you. Man, that's, that is messed up, man. But anyway... I'm not going to go on and on, man. That's all I got on the subject right now, man. Let's, let me know in the comment section. Who y'all, who y'all want Bud to fight? Because it seems like he don't want to fight nobody. But anyway, I'm up out of here.